So I've had a comment on my previous video, well a previous video to this video, uh, I think it's the video about the foot terminal and uh, we're just going to get straight into looking at the comment and uh, you'll see what this video will therefore be about. Let's have a look. So I've got a message from Positive2 and Positive2 says are you only recording one window at a time or are you running some sort of full screen window manager and if yes which one? Sorry I'm new to your channel and not a Linux Pro. Well Positive2 no worries being a new to my channel and not being a Linux Pro it doesn't matter. Um, so I just thought this would be a good opportunity really to highlight what I record with or how I record my screen and just to summarize where I am with the software I'm using, where I am with Linux and to give a little overview of how things actually are when I'm recording my screen. That makes sense? So we'll just get into it. Let's, let's role play what I'm doing with my computer for the benefit of Positive 2. Okay, so imagine, imagine you're me and so what we're going to do is we're going to boot up, boot up our computer using this virtual machine. So just think it's the same thing. I'm just booting up my computer. So let's start this. Okay. So as you can see, computer's booting up. It's booting into Arch Linux. Now, if you're again new to my channel or new to Linux or not a Linux Pro, this is Arch Linux. You can look at my previous videos on Arch Linux. I've done install videos and whatever. And with Arch Linux, the base install is just that. So I've got my black screen on the TTY, so that is the really the first level of user space or whatever, I don't know. So just you can look at my previous video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log in. So I'm logging into my Linux machine here. If I do it correctly. Remember to log in correctly, that helps. See, I don't edit anything out in my videos, pretty much. Anyway, so let's um, let's get a knot. Wow, actually, I don't even need to do that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit StarTex, okay? So StarTex is loading um, Xorg server. So again, if you look at my previous videos, Xorg server or Xorg is the graphical environment, okay? There's also Wayland, as a graphical environment, but I use X11 for my graphical environment generally, okay? Obviously in the previous video with the foot terminal that was in Wayland on my virtual machine. So again, just imagine I'm loading up my computer. I'm now gonna start the graphical environment, okay? So we're gonna do start X and that loads, as you can sort of see there, X11, okay? So here I am, I'm in my graphical environment, right? And I hit the super key and enter, and that opens i3, okay? What is i3? i3 is a window manager, kind of like you said. You can again look at previous videos that explains what i3 is. And i3 is my window manager configured to my preference. And that's why you're seeing this, what looks like a full screen. So it loads a pane and I can use various commands. So um, let's do devour Firefox, okay? Devour gives me a full screen instance or fills the pane with Firefox. Does that make sense? Um, but, but, what I don't tend to do so often, because I don't personally need to so often, but if I need an extra pane, I hit enter. As you can see, I've now got two panes, or two windows, not necessarily windows, and I can customize or I can change. So for example, if I do my super key and R, uh, I should, oh, should be able to. Why is my super key not doing what it wants now? Whatever. Anyway, in theory, strange. Anyway, in theory, I can, um, let me show you here. I can uh, have them like this. I can tab them. Is that right? Uh, whatever. Go back like this. You know, I can move all, I can open many of them. Oh. And so forth. And now I can, you know, I could do devour Firefox, all this kind of stuff. Does that make sense? And obviously I can just exit that. That does it. And now I'm back here, I can close Firefox. Back in here. 
So there we go. So how am I therefore recording all of this, including my virtual machine? Well, if I go into, um, as you can see, this top pane here. So this is um, FFmpeg, okay? FFmpeg is recording my whole X11 instance. So my start X that loads X11 is being recorded by FFmpeg. So how am I starting my FFmpeg record, okay? So obviously I'm not gonna do it here, but, uh, oh sorry, I'm not gonna cancel the, my current recording, but if I go into, let's say, open up a new pane and I do FFmpeg, right, so this is what I'm doing. I'm doing FFmpeg, the command, uh, the program FFmpeg, and again, you can look at previous videos. Then I'm setting my video size. So this is the video size for my computer. The frame rate at 30, uh, dash F, which I can't quite remember, I think is, um, so the format, so input, output, and if that makes sense, uh, X11 grab is the format, input, output. It's a built-in, I guess, part of FFmpeg that grabs X11. Uh, I is um, the URL, but I think in this case, I'm not grabbing a URL for video. Um, I'm just setting uh, my display. Um, so, for example, if I do another window here and I echo display, it's dash zero. So display is this. Does that make sense? Instead of getting a URL, it's getting my display server. I think that's right. And then, as you can see, it's output one. So this is actually writing right now. Output one as we, well, as I record this it's gonna save that into output one. So when I um, hit Q, if I hit Q on here, it will then stop the recording of my screen and save it to output. And it will take, I presume, whatever inputs, whether it's audio, whatever video. Um, my camera is recording my audio, so me, what you're seeing is me, is, is a separate recording device recording my audio and me as a video, and then obviously I put it in an editor. Now, does that make sense? So I hope that makes sense. So it just gives you an overview, and it gives anybody who wants to see the command of FFmpeg to record. So um, let's have a look at FFmpeg documentation. F, this is a great, great website. So this is uh, FFmpeg's own uh, documentation. So if I go down to this is just ffmpeg.org, and if I go down to discover more, you get all about ffmpeg, including examples. Fantastic. So, um, I've just got to find, so if I click the actual ffmpeg here, and I, I know choose x11 grabbing, as you can see, this is the kind of command I'm running. So, if you remember, ffmpeg, etc., etc. Uh, CIF, not sure what that is. Maybe somebody could say in the in the comments. The frame rate, uh, I not for URL, but for the display, they've got 0, 0.0. Maybe that's for other. Uh, and then the output temp out MPG. Now, interestingly, again, if I look up, you can grab audio and video, and this is maybe something I'll do in the future with um, webcam for stream uh, live streams, and maybe for this depends. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, I hope you you now see um, what I'm doing, what I'm running, um, and uh, I hope that gives you a little bit of Linux knowledge that maybe uh, newbies or experts alike might not know, and gives everyone just a summary of how actually I'm recording my screen, how great FFmpeg is for all this kind of stuff, and an example if you want to record your screen for whatever reason. So just a nice little video there. No dramas this time. Just um, just gives um, a commenter just a bit of instruction of what's happening. And maybe whether you're a newbie or an expert, maybe stuff you didn't realize about FFmpeg. I don't know. And, and a nice little resource. So that will go in the description. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Because it's... A nice few days after Christmas, a couple of days after Christmas, so we're just going to leave it there and uh, have a little relaxed one, I think. Anyway, you know what to do with all the fake YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, that's it.